Step 4. Carving the occlusal surface. It's time to do the occlusal surface. The occlusal surface is characterized by having a central groove and marginal ridges and prominent cusps cusp ridges which is the buckle and the palatal cusp now if we look at it at the palatal surface then we forgot to do the slopes of the palatal cusp and this is the beginning of doing the occlusal surface as you can see here I'm taking from the cusp and I'm taking from the marginal ridge same thing here I'll be taking from the slope and I'll take a little bit from the occlusal surface which is the distal marginal ridge now it seems a lot better what categorizes the occlusal surface of posterior teeth is that the surface is not straight but it should be just like an angle over here and an angle over here which are the cusp slopes and the cusp slope here cusp slope over here as you can see in this figure or tooth there is a prominent central or a buckle cusp ridge a less prominent cusp palatal cusp two prominent fossae at the mesial area and distal area and the cusp slopes the medial slope and the distal slope over here so that's what we'll do right now now it's time to carve away the slope area as you can see here I'm carving away the distal slope and over here the mutual slope now I'll carve away the mesial slope of the buck of the palatal cusp just a small depression and the distal slope of the palatal cusp after I have this figure as you can see here just a small small depressions I widen it a little bit and deepen it a little bit as you can see here okay same thing on the distal surface just widen it and deepen it By that, I get an occlusal surface, mesial marginal ridge, distal marginal ridge, 
and slopes of the cusps. This is very preliminary because I need a lot of more work to do it. So I do refinement by doing more slopes, deepening the slopes even more and deepening sorry deepening the slopes even more and deepening the fossa as you can see here by deepening the fossa over here this side is a lot deeper than this side and the medium marginal ridge is becoming more prominent see I do the same thing on the other side if you notice I'm taking a little bit of both sides so I don't get anything wrong I just don't do one side and do the other perfectly then then do the other perfectly because I'll maybe I'll end up with something wrong okay now I need to make the grooves more pronounced that is done by deepening the groove this is the mutual marginal groove oh, sorry mutual groove now on the other surface also I'll deepen the area and I'll just carve away these cusps in order to sharpen them as you can see here the distal marginal ridge needs a little bit more yeah I take a little bit more of it to widen the occlusal area As you could see here, now the occlusal surface is more prominent. I need to make this deep, <coughs> sorry, uh, deepen the fossa and the central groove at this area distally means
okay so now the pelusal surface looks better 